It's time once again for Viper Bites, presented by the Fantasy Points Media Group. And we have a Philly special taking place here. If you like specials, head to fantasypoints.com because they got a special right now 10% off by using promo code VIPERS22. You want that fantasy football subscription? We got you covered. Just like DBs think they've got AJ Brown covered, they don't, though. But hey, we at Fantasy Points, we got you. Now let's talk about AJ Brown and this Eagles offense here. As far as how the top five dynasty fantasy football assets are concerned for this Eagles team. What a crazy offseason that just took place here. A.J. Brown was traded from the Titans to the Eagles. And that's not even the biggest headline in the NFL. Heck, it's not even the biggest move at the wide receiver position. What the Eagles are adding is a receiver that simply wins versus single man coverage. Brown is one of just three receivers since 2019 to have won against man coverage at least 53% of the time and have at least 300 routes under their belt. With one of the easiest schedules for receivers, you can expect that win percentage to increase along with fantasy production in 2022. In 43 games with the Titans, Brown had a 24% target share, finishing as a top 12 receiver 33% of the time. Now, speaking of Devonta Smith here, we see that A.J. Brown is basically going off as a dynasty wide receiver here per experts at the wide receiver five. Well, Devonta Smith is not getting the same kind of love going off the board as wide receiver 21. With A.J. Brown playing opposite of Smith, it's difficult to imagine that Smith will once again see his 22% target share from a season ago. But just because the targets aren't readily available, it doesn't mean that Smith cannot be efficient. Smith last season saw the ninth most deep targets and finished averaging 10.9 fantasy points per game in PPR formats. Smith managed 104 targets in a run first offense last season. And even with Brown coming into the fold there, you can expect that the Eagles are transitioning more from a run first offense to a more passer friendly type offense here in 2022 and moving forward. I think in 2021, the Eagles wanted to throw the ball, but they just simply were not able to do it. It's possible that Smith improves on his 64 receptions that he posted last season, and it's even possible that he produces 1,000 yards. 60 receptions, 900-plus yard rookie seasons are historically positive indicators of future success. There's also a good chance that we've been spoiled in recent memory here by players such as Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase when it comes to this, these rookie wide receivers. Brown's average depth of target in 2021 was 11.6. We know Smith saw plenty of deep targets, so an A dot of 14.2 last season shouldn't come as much of a surprise. Look for Brown to eat coverage up underneath and Smith to stretch defenses, leaving Jalen Hurts with multiple options at different levels of the field to deliver that ball. Now, another guy who doesn't get a chance to deliver the ball maybe as much as he deserves is Miles Sanders. I'm trying to decide if the Eagles flat out just hate Miles Sanders or what the deal is there. Sanders had 912 scrimmage yards last season on 163 touches, not carries, touches which works out to about 5.6 yards per touch now despite averaging over five and a half yards per carry sanders found himself losing carries to boston scott and jordan howard yes the same jordan howard that basically came in off the streets and got himself 86 carries and just like that boom i, I don't get it it made no sense to me now sanders was rb44 in ppr last season and if you believe in touchdown regression then Sanders, who failed to reach the end zone, has plenty of room to increase that production profile in 2022. With one of the best offensive lines in the game today, a top 10 offense, and entering a contract season, you should be able to expect good things from Miles Sanders here in 2022, which will hopefully translate into positive fantasy production moving forward. Now, another position of play here that we got to talk about is that dreaded tight end position. And the Eagles, they're not in bad shape there with Dallas Goddard, who's currently the tight end seven per experts consensus rankings. Philadelphia moved on from Zach Ertz in 2021 and put Dallas Goddard right in that driver's seat. In six of the seven games post Ertz, Goddard was a dominant force, ranking in the top three in yards per route run, 2.33. Yards per reception, 14.8. Yards per target, fantasy points per target, target separation. Goddard was one of the best. If Goddard can maintain those numbers and the Eagles look to commit to a more passer-friendly offense, then Goddard should see a status as tight end eight in both fantasy and fantasy points per game, trend upwards towards a top five territory. With A.J. Brown now in Philadelphia, this could affect Goddard 
from week to week. We could get weeks of Dallas Goddard where he's a top three option. We could also get weeks where Dallas Goddard fails to even break the top 15. So something to keep in mind as we move forward. But at the end of the season, Dallas Goddard is going to find himself somewhere in that tight end five to tight end eight range. Now we can't keep talk about the Eagles without talking about their own Konomi code, cheat code there at quarterback. And it's Jalen Hurts. Hey, I went on record about mid-season last season and said, the Eagles have their quarterback in the present and of the future. Now, Philadelphia was already good at running the ball. That doesn't change. The Eagles are still going to be able to run the ball if they choose to do so. Hertz is also continuing to develop as a passer, becoming a more polished passer, and the additions of A.J. Brown to go along with Devonta Smith and Dallas Goddard should help that. Hertz still finished as a QB9 in fantasy, and that's after he suffered that hip injury in week number 12 that took a little sizzle off that stake in his fantasy football season there. Let me list off a list of quarterbacks for you that have at least 4,000 yards passing and 1,000 yards rushing within their first 20 starts. Ready? Jalen Hurts. That's it. That's it. Jalen Hurts is the only person on that list. With the weaponry that the Eagles have surrounded Hurts with, plus his ability to make plays with his arms and his legs, there's a possibility that Hurts could finish as the overall top-scoring fantasy option in any given year. If I've said this once, if I've said it again, the Eagles, don't worry about this quarterback position. You are covered for years to come. And if you want to be covered not only in 2022 and beyond, head to fantasypoints.com. Use that promo code VIPERS22 and get yourself 10% off. And you want all this information coming at you weekly? Make sure you're tuned in here on the Vipers Network. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure those notifications are on because we got new content coming at you daily right up until kickoff. We'll see you next time.